Let's now have a look at the Ellingron product that most of the photographers that I know really want to own. It's true to say that to use the famous Ellingrom Octa, you need to have a bit of space in your studio. The Octa is essentially a huge softbox, but as we'll see, it's much more than that. In fact, it's one of the most versatile pieces of equipment that I know. For a big accessory, we need a big stand. This is the sliding arm stand. It has a heavy base with fold-up legs, all fitted with braked wheels. The centre column is 2.5 metres high and as you can see the arm slides freely up and down. If you want to you can add extra arms and the spigot here is the same as the top of a normal lighting stand. So we could put two smaller softboxes on one above the other and make a big light source. The octa is supplied in a storage bag which I'll unzip. On removing the octa you can see straight away that it's quite different to a conventional softbox as the octa itself fits onto the stand, not the flash head. You might think that such a big accessory would be difficult to assemble, but just look at this. We just hold the ring in one hand and the handle in the other and push, making sure the three pins locate into the three sockets. And there we are, ready for the light source to go in. I'm going to fit an Ellingrom 600 RX unit with the Ellingrom Skyport transceiver. You'll see the advantage of that later. The head is fitted onto the mounting ring and double locked, like this. The reason that this reverse fitting system works so well is due to the incredibly secure double locking system, which is unique to all Ellingrom heads. As you can see, the Ellingrom Octa is designed around satellite dish technology. We have a transmitter, in this case a light transmitter, mounted at the optical centre of the dish, giving the most even light possible. The mains cable is fed through a slit in the rear, and if you're using a sink lead, this would also fit through here. OK, so I can now turn my unit on and fit the front cover. If I took a flash meter and took readings from the centre to the edge, I would find the Octa gives the most even light source of any softbox. Let's start off by using it as a normal softbox by placing it to one side of Claire and using a simple reflector panel to fill the shadows on the other side. We can slide the octa up and down the column, even right down to the floor. Great for photographing children. I'm going to shoot at f8, so let's take a metre reading. Hmm, that's giving me 5.6.6, so I need to turn the light up by four tenths of a stop. And here's where Skyport comes in. By pressing the plus button on my transmitter, I can change the power up by one tenth of a stop at a time without having to get into the head. So I need to press the plus button four times to get to my shooting aperture of f8. <laughs> Simple, eh? Remember the basic principle. The bigger the light source, the softer the light. So by using the Octa just out of camera shot, we get the most wonderful quality of light on Claire's face. As we've got such a large light, we can choose the way it works. Standing here, you can see that Claire's head is right in the centre of the box. We have an equal amount in front and behind her head. We could slide it forwards so that we get much more wraparound of light on this side of Claire's face. Or we could slide it back. The light on this side of Claire's face hardly changes, but we've now lost all the light on the other side. But more than that, Look what's happening to the background. The back edge of the octa is now actually lighting the background as well as our subject, all with just one light. As we have about 28 square feet of light source, we can of course use the octa to light a much larger area, say a car or a motorbike, or even just a bigger group of people. And because it's so big, we still have a great soft light, even when we back it off from the subject. There are two more ways to use the Alinchrom Octa that I want to show you. So make sure you watch the Octa parts two and three. I think you'll be impressed. I'm Chris Burfoot. Thanks for watching.